Virginia. It's perfect. Line base hit. Well, Stanford under the direction of with a couple of home runs. Finished third in the Pac-12 in home runs with those 19 long balls. Ground ball out to third, right through the wickets of Marshall Gilbert. Looked like a routine opportunity, and now it'll be first and second for Stanford. Well, if there's one knock on this Mississippi State club, it's the infield defense. Marshall Gilbert, the converted catcher, has done okay at third, but this one just gets right through the five hole. And as a former catcher, you'd think of any ball he's going to catch, it'd be that one, but you see the glove just come up. They won three straight elimination games to get here to Starkville, and there is a walk, and they are now loaded for Stanford. Fly ball out to center. Jake Mangum back toward the track to the wall. Makes the catch. Runners will tag. That'll get a run home. They may get a chance to get a double play here. Everybody's pointing to second base. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hanley scores. Boy, first of all, what a play by Jake Mangum. I mean, we're, we're talking about four runs on the board that he just erased. But there's a reason everybody's screaming about the runner at second. It, it, it felt like he left early. That one shows like he didn't. I think Doug Williams got it right. I don't think he did. It didn't. The, the, on the replay, it didn't. How about this? This could be a four spot, boys. Oh, boy. Jake just Mangum just went up there and took a four spot away. Down the line and right. Long run for Wolf. That will drop in front of him. Skelton on his way to second to throw, not in time, and that'll go down as a double. Boy, another long run for an outfielder to get a ball down the line. Well, we, we said it last inning. It's like they're playing no doubles, and it's by design because we're seeing it from both corner outfielders. And look where Brandon Wolf is to yeah. start. Then that looks like there's a runner on first in the ninth inning in a tie game. And he's almost shaded over toward the right center field gap a little bit, too. So a ball, I mean, this is the second ball for me that if you're playing normal or regular depth, right? I you, think the ball's caught. You have at least a sliding chance at it. Yeah, I mean, that ball. It, it. That will drop in for a base hit. Skelton coming around third, and we are tied at one. This is what's impressive for me about Mississippi State, right? They keep on winning. Even though Mangan and Westbrook have had their struggles as of late, other guys have picked up their game. Mississippi State, everybody knows, one of the great environments in our sport. What did you tell your team to well, try to prepare them for this place? Yeah, I don't know that you can prepare, really. But, you know, hey, you know you're going to play high-level baseball where the crowd is going to react to every pitch, every swing, every bit of contact. And, hey, you just got to stay in your own little bubble. And we mm. talk a little bit about, hey, all we have is all of us, and we got to mm. stay together. Coach, how are you going to attack Ethan Small? Looked like his rhythm was off. You guys got to him a little bit the first couple of innings, but he seemed to really get it going the last inning. Yeah, he looks like he's, you know, he's starting to settle. Perennial favorites to win, but these have always been two teams this year that have been in that discussion. That may get in. Long run. Robinson in center field. Can't scoop it up. Here comes the throw home. Not in time. Come on now, give them something to cheer about. The Bulldogs with their first really big hit of the ball game, a hanging slider, Dustin Skelton showing you a professional approach, a bullet in the right center field gap. The Bulldogs are off to the races, and this place is about to cave in right now, boys. We talked about the veteran lineup second time through, making some adjustments. You're starting to see those adjustments from Mississippi State. 
bonus. People kind of think, well, they finished, you know, top four in the country last year. Well, they weren't a top four team all year long. That ball shot out to left, and that'll drop. Stowers can't come up with it. It'll one hop over the wall. They're going to say home run? No, no. No, that ball, I, I saw it bounce. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. They're, I mean, they're bringing him back. They're bringing him back. Hey, keep running, right? Until they, till they tell you to stop. Keep running, Josh Hatcher. It's like T-ball, right? You just keep on going. And, boy, you talk about production down towards the bottom of the lineup. Seven, eight, nine. How about Hatcher? Already had an RBI single. Mississippi State just does it from top and bottom. Watch where this pitch is. Away, didn't try to pull it, stayed inside of it. The hands went first, the barrel found it. But see, it was elevated just enough where he could get it up in the air, and he punishes this ball out toward left center field. And there's the bounce, hits the warning track, and right up over. Fastball misses inside, and now there's first and second. And nobody out for one, Jake. Two earned runs or less. 0-2 oh, on Westberg. That should get a run in. And a bad throw. Everybody's safe. Well, not, not only do you not play the infield in, and the reason you don't is, is to make sure that your infielders have enough range to not give up a bigger inning. You get a ground ball that would be right at your shortstop and maybe have a play at the plate. Your shortstop can't get it out of his glove. Credit Westberg for giving it a hard 90. And these are the types of plays that can really come back. Ground ball back up the middle. That'll get another run in. Gilbert scores to make it 5-1. I think they're having a little fun. Yeah, I don't know what that dance is. High chopper. McNamee on that bad wheel will get the run in. There'll be an out at first. But another run on the board for the Bulldogs. It's now 6-1. to one. The team which gets it done, right? They understand how to win. Small ball drives and runs. In. Oozer. That was just a little oozer there. Westberg couldn't catch up to it. Base knock for Duke Kinnaman. Boy, how about the difference in season? It's not eight and a half. No, it's close. Ish. <laughs> you did it on your phone. That's booted by Westberg. That'll get a runner to third. Now they'll have him at the corners and one down. Well, you got to like the base running right there by Duke Kinnaman. Just ran in the face of Rowdy Jordan. One a little quicker than you would anticipate. Ground ball back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. That'll get a run in. It's now 6-2. to two. So Robinson delivers his second hit tonight. Now he'll flip the lineup back to Kyle Stowers. Yeah, we're one swing away. Ground ball to the right side. Foscu. One victory would mean to this team. One pitch away. Game over. 6-2 Bulldogs. That's how you draw it up right there if you're Chris Lamonis. Just, just a, a nice effort by the Bulldogs. Ethan Small settled in after kind of a...